Hello, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll see how to update our leaflet map based on user inputs. Map can be updated in different ways. One alternate is we use reactive functions and the render functions in such a way that whenever user make any changes to say for example in this case slider input the map is recreated and it updates the markers on map the other way is using leaflet proxy what leaflet proxy does is it updates the map based on user inputs without recreating the map let me explain you what I'm saying this map which I'm showing does not use leaflet proxy I want to show you the difference so if I change the magnitude range you can see the map is recreated from scratch it's adding tile every time on top of that it's adding markers based on the range and also if you see the position changes the zoom is also changing see the level of zoom is also changing on the contrary with leaflet proxy if I change the magnitude range the map is not recreated it's just that the markers are number of markers are updated based on the magnitude range also you can see that the position or the zoom level does not change this is the advantage of using leaflet proxy let's see how we use leaflet proxy in our studio we will first review the code where we have not used leaflet proxy and once we are done with this we'll jump on the code where we have leaflet leaflet proxy start with loading the necessary packages we have got the UI section in the UI section we are using leaflet output function to display the leaflet map the slider input which we had on the right side uh, we have put that under the absolute panel and then we have defined the range the minimum range as uh, uh, minimum magnitude and the maximum range the maximum value of range is the uh, max uh, earthquake magnitude on the server side what we are doing is based on the user selected earthquake magnitude range we are subsetting the quakes data set and then we are um, mapping it to filtered object we are assigning it to filtered object using the render leaflet function we are creating the leaflet object we are adding the tile to the uh, leaflet object and then we are adding the markers and the data which is used is filtered data object which is nothing but uh, it will contain the subset data based on the uh, user selected earthquake magnitude so as you can see what what is happening basically if we see the flow every time user changes the range data will be subsetting will happen filter data object will change and once it is changed the uh, the leaflet object will be recreated uh, tiles will be added every time markers will be added every time so it's a lot of recreation lots lots of um, um, you know add-ons now if we use a leaflet proxy what will happen is the idea is create the map once and then keep on updating it no need to recreate from scratch so what we say is the logic goes the dynamic logic goes within observe or we can also use observe event we, we we listen to the dependency 
right so whenever the subset data changes or whenever user changes the range and subsetting happens then update the map how whatever was there clear of the markers whatever markers we added initially clear that marker and add new set of markers but based on which data the filtered data or the new subset data so we are not recreating from scratch whatever we had we are clearing those markers we are adding new markers now this can be um, shape we we might be clearing it might be markers or something else we'll look other uh, options or functions whatever we have in other videos